Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's Etac here, and I am gonna bring you guys a video that should have been made a long time ago. Now, as you all know, the Galaxy S6, Edge, and S6, and all that, even the Note 5, didn't have expandable storage, and other people, including me, were ignorant enough to blame it on the design. Well, I just recently found out, well, I've known for some time, but I just got recently clarified on why the S6 didn't have expandable storage. So I'm here gonna, so I'm gonna tell you guys. So yes, the S6 was one of the greatest devices that Samsung has ever made with the Exynos 7420 and the slimmed down TouchWiz, even the S6 Edge Plus and Note 5 bringing the Exynos 7420 and four gigabytes of RAM, but I'm missing one thing that pushed everybody away, and that was a micro SD card slot or expandable storage. So yes, many people have known for a long time, and they're gonna be like, wow, you're, you're just now finding out why. But yeah, I'm just now finding out why, and the main reason why the S6 variants in the Note 5 didn't have expandable storage was because of a new storage technology Samsung had called UFS 2.0. So UFS stands for Universal Flash Storage, and it's basically the fastest storage that you can get on any smartphone right now, from what I was told. Now what was an old smartphone it was something called EMMC. I don't know what it stands for, so don't ask me, I'm just, yeah. So yeah, UFS is way faster than uh, EMMC, and it's a little bit better because it, pro it provides you the fast performance you need without being a power-hungry shark. So yeah, I think it saves battery life and brings a lot of power. So yeah, most devices, previous devices like the Note 4 and others, had EMMC, which was very slow, as you can obviously see here. And for Samsung to try and put expandable storage or a micro SD card slot in UFS 2.0, it would just make UFS, the speed of UFS 2.0 useless, as you can see here. SD card slot really slowed down the um, EMMC storage that was in the uh, Note 4 and S5 and other variant phones. So you can see how big of a change expandable storage makes, or well, micro SD makes. So I think Samsung made the right move by not including micro SD slots to keep the fast speeds of UFS 2.0. Now rumors are starting to surface that Samsung will have expandable storage in the Galaxy S7. Now what can this mean? This could either mean that Samsung is going to take a step back and go back to EMMC just for the fans, or Samsung is just going to take the risk and just slow down UFS, or this is what I'm hoping for, or this can mean that Samsung found a way to make micro SD work with UFS 2.0 and not slow it down as drastically as they did with EMMC. Now, if Samsung did some miracle, maybe they can make UFS faster with SD card, which I don't think will happen, but hopefully it doesn't change performance at all, or doesn't change it as much as it did EMMC, as you saw in the picture. Anyways, that's it for this video. You guys comment down below what you guys think. If you'd rather have UFS 2.0 no micro SD card for the speed, or UFS 2.0 with SD card and risk speed just a little bit. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And guys, I have a lot of videos coming up, including the Q&A, which will come later on in December. I might do a giveaway. I'm trying to talk to um, some companies to send me a product. And as you can, guys can see, well, you guys can't see, but I have a lot of videos lined up. I even have an unboxing of this thing here, the Gatekeeper, which a lot of tech YouTubers have got. I think they sent one to about every tech YouTuber on the planet. But yeah, I'll be unboxing and reviewing this um, in a couple weeks or so. I have to, you know, get to using it. I haven't used it yet. But yeah, I'll be getting to using that. Then I have another product coming in from another company that I'll be uh, reviewing also. So thanks for watching. Thanks for coming all the way to the end. And um, see you guys in the next one.